Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, today is going to be about my PvP Arena Season 2 loadout. Um, and this is something that I've been meaning to do for a while, but last night I went deep onto the elemental banners and I got some really good stuff so I sort of changed my loadout again and I thought today would be a great time to be making that video. But before we go into that we get a quick update from um, the developers. We have a new event coming out, Variation Aurora Daemon, or Demon, and we also have an update announcement that was released yesterday where there's going to be some quality of life um, improvements towards stark memory and character quests where you can like sort of scroll through the quest a little bit more easily now than before um, and this will be coming out on october the 18th along with subjugation event as well so look forward to that guys all right so last night as i was saying i did some summons and on the elemental banner i don't know if you watched my previous video but i was highly recommending this banner especially if you're like me who needed specific weapons and specific units to really take your team to the next level and that's what i did so i went into the light banner firstly uh, i went about 70 summons deep in there and then i went onto the fire banner and went about 200 summons deep on there and i got some really really good stuff which i'll show you today um but basically, uh, I just wanted to, I guess, show you the videos, uh, which I did record these. Um, where are we at? Here. So basically, after doing these summons, I managed to get the weapons that I needed. Um, and most importantly, with those weapons, I was able to make some significant improvements to my accounts because I got the weapons, which I'll explain a little bit more in a second. So this is the first, um, this is the first pull in the light banner. Got nothing. Actually, no, this is not the first pull. I already did 50 single summons before this, right? Uh, 50 single summon tickets. So this was using my multi tickets now. So this would be number 60. And then this would be the 70th. Nothing here, I'll skip forward a little bit. And then on my 80th summon, nothing. And then on my 90th summon. And here we go. The most beautiful, the best PVP one hand sword in the game, the Sword of the Titan. And this synergizes so well with 2P's weapon, the Mock Type 40 sword. Because of that light damage boost and also the critical rate, of course, from passives. Anyway, this was the one weapon that I wanted from the light banner and I got it. It was the only force I got from all those light summons. Um, so I'm very, very happy with that. And that pretty much that pretty much sent me on a tangent going, okay, I think I need another four star um, one hand sword user. And that's when I went into Gale. So I had saved up a lot of cubes for for Levania, but then I realized I needed all these face plates, which was gonna take me, you know, a lot of time and a lot of stamina to get, and I don't have the stamina potions for him. So I decided, you know what, I've got the Titan Sword now. I'm just gonna go for Gale. I had everything I needed for her already. I had all the purple books, I had all the face plates, um, pretty much the gems as well, the crystals, like the wing crystals. So pretty much this video is just me recording my upgrading Gale to max. As you can see, she's 90 now. Um, and you can see I don't have the materials to upgrade her character skill, but that's okay. I'm using her for PvP. And then just straight up max her out. No glorious enhancement, unfortunately. Well, that's fine, I've got plenty of materials. And then you see me go into here and just looking for materials to upgrade her. Well, that's pretty much it for Gale. And then I went on to max my Titan Sword. And see me with eight black pearls saved up for the longest time, guys. Honestly, uh, some of the guys had a look from the Discord looked at my account and I was like, how can you as a content creator have nothing? No weapons, no units. I said, well, that's because I'm, I've been hoarding for the longest time until I get something like the Sword of the Titan. Then I just went all in, guys. Take this to 90. 
Max Pearled, and then level it up. Use the jewels, the slash crystals, the light crystals, get it to 90. And then I just pump up all the passives, guys. And the most important thing is to max the weapon skills because at max they have the shortest cooldown. That's where they really, that's where they, you know, hit their power spike. I'm, I'm missing the machine oil, so I went into the limited time pack and bought this subjugation uh, pack G, which is what I was recommending to you guys before. Out of all the packs, these were the ones that were most, um, I think these were the best, best deal. So I'm not going to show you that, but yeah, pretty much spent money, bought that. The max the passives, max the weapon skills. Yeah, and it just felt great doing this because I was like, I've been saving all these materials for so long and I finally got a weapon, the best weapon, and I can just dump everything into it. Guys, you have no idea, like, that feels so good. Like it's just like all this pent up energy finally released in one go. And I'm so thankful I got this weapon because I honestly wouldn't know where I would be right now without it. Um, my PvP team was already lacking. I didn't have any X units because I just ha hold all these cubes. I didn't have any good weapons to use. Um, I couldn't get Lavani either because I don't have the face plates for him. And so I'm just so happy with what I got here. Um, and then afterwards I went into fire summons and then I did three multis here. You can see three, three multi tickets here. And then I managed to get three star griff, which is the first time. And then on my second multi, I got a bunch more three star griffs. Look at that. That's a tier one three star. That's 20 books right there. Bang, maxed him out. And then on the third pull, look what I get. Oh, I crashed out, but um, on my third pull, you can see here the last one. And I just, and I had just got that. So that was the four star version of Griff, guys. So it crashes here, there's no point in watching the rest of it. But basically I get four star Griff on my third pull. And not only do I get the four star Griff, I also get my first copy of Fractured Prisoner with that S plus tier two hand sword. That if you watched my weapon tier video, you would know. It is so good and I'm now maining that in PVP. I'll show you all the loadout in a second. I just wanted to quickly run through these. So this is my, I go back in on fire summons because I'm so happy with it. I want to get some things like the Phoenix dagger. I want to get the bloody broad knife. I want more copies of Griff, um, Fractured Prisoner. And so I just go in and test my luck. What's this? Okay, not the gun, not the Absat Griff gun, unfortunately. But I was pretty hyped at that point. I mean, if it was back to back four stars on Absat Griff, holy. Nothing here. Sorry, guys, I'm skipping because I don't want to waste your time, to be honest. Just want to show you the goodies. But I'm not going to discount all these medals, right? I'm getting all these normal medals, which is going to be really good because the reset's coming up, the monthly reset. Buy all the stamina pots, I need all that badly. I'm so stamina starved. It's, uh, it's wild. Look at this. Boom. And guess, guess what we get? How good is that? A second copy of the Fractured Prisoner with the S plus sword. And then a four star gun out of nowhere. It transformed. Incredible summons. It was a light gun as well. Needed that. Look at that. Anyway, that's the end of that. No more four stars, but then I go in again for a three. A 
third round of five summons. As you can see here, my I'm, my gems are down to 56k. I started with like 78k, um, and about uh, 70 something tickets. So you can see I've gone pretty deep on these bandits, even without the pity. I don't care, but <laughs> I just want these weapons. And there is no better time to get the weapons that you need and the units that you need outside of these elemental banners. These the rates of these are higher than when the units came out themselves on their own banners, right? And these off-banner weapons like Sea Bone or Titan Sword, this is the highest rate you ever get them. What is that? 0.286% chance? Whereas in normally there's 0.065% chance to get a Titan Sword. If you want to know the breakdown of the mass behind it, you can just watch my previous video. But anyway, it's gone pretty bad at this point. And I'm thinking I'm gonna use, I'm gonna probably save like 30k gems at least. So I just keep going. And I don't care because I'm getting everything that I need. I'm happy with all these medals to be honest. So it's a pretty dry spell as you can see here and it's, I mean, it could come across as demoralizing but then watch what I get next. Boom. Three fractured prisoners guys. Imagine you went on a pity and you got like you went on a normal banner and you got three of that unit. You'd be over the moon, because I am. And I've gotten all these other four stars and extra medals as well that, you know, that I'm happy with. And then I went back and ascended all these fire weapons and got a bunch more medals. Just incredible pulls. Really, really happy with how this went. Um, and that's it. That's all the videos I want to show you there, but I'm going to go into the loadout now. Um... Maybe actually, maybe I'll do it in a separate video. Yeah, I'll probably do it in a separate video. I'll see you guys back in a second. All right, so we are back, guys, and um, I just wanted to forward this before I start showing you my loadout. That uh, a, I'm not recommending you guys to spend money on the game, even though I did. And B, the elemental summons are good, the rates are higher, but the overall standard rate is still 5% as with all banners. So I don't want anyone to be misled by the information as if like uh, the overall rate is higher for four stars, okay? Um, please be careful with your, sum uh, with your summons and how you spend your money. Um, hey guys, just, just be aware, all right? I don't want to be misleading any of you. Anyway, let's go straight into it. So my loadout. This is my new PvP team, and I am very, very happy with where this is at. I am ready, f like this team is going to be good for a long time. Even when the ex Lavania Wind Fist comes out, that one that comes with timed Fleetfoot, I've got a fire unit, a very strong fire unit to deal with, to deal with him. Okay, so this is the overview of what it looks like. I'm using my new X scale, uh, my 2P and my A2, and these are their weapons. You can see here, uh, full CDR on A2, full CDR on on X scale. This is what I was talking about, the synergy here between these two weapons, the Titan Sword and the Mock Type 40, with the big uh, light weapon damage boost and the critical from the last X weapon and the and and the Mock Type 40 as well. Just gives her massive stats and she's also using CDR MEMS. Um, and then for 2P, I'm getting her to go first. I need her to go first. Uh, I need her just to kill someone using her agility, okay? So she's using X Scale Sword, which is maxed out, and Stage 11, Bloody Brawl Knife. This can be replaced. I was hoping to replace this with a Phoenix Dagger. I never got one. So meanwhile, this will have to do for now, but this is where it can be optimized. And I've given her uh, my me uh, Mechanical Assassin, Akeha. I've taken Akeha out of the team completely. I just don't think she's that strong, okay? Controversial opinion. After getting X scale and and trying out the, the new build, my new weapons, I just don't think um, the Akeha fits in my team anymore, okay? That might be subject to change later on. We'll see. Anyway, um, let's go straight into the stats. 
So all my units are level 90, of course, and this is the the Fractured Prisoner weapon. What is it called? I don't even know the name of it. It's just so good. The Faulty Greatsword, okay? I need to get this, the first ability to max it out, which drops it down to 18 seconds. This is the highest cooldown reduction on two-hand swords, 18 seconds and 14 seconds. This goes off, like, instantly, and it comes with Vigor. All right, 14% at level 14, and Timed Fatal, guys. This is massive. 20% when it's maxed out for 60 seconds, huge. So imagine that A2's got 190% critical damage. All right, and she's got uh, um, X weapons, these are stage eight. So the passives are maxed out, that's all I use them for, for the passives. Okay, so that's 20% cooldown reduction here and 30% from the set. I'm using the Weiss book to reduce dark damage. I don't need any more damage. Like I don't need the fire book for more damage. She just one shots everyone. She's got 22K attack. Um, don't worry about agility because she's not supposed to go first. Although some of you people in my bracket will probably snipe me and realize <laughs> A2 should be taken out first, but that's fine. That's what I'm here for, all right? Um, 70, almost 70% on crit rate. So these are the mems. Quick look. Uh, attack, main stat, crit rate, main stat, and attack, main stat, but mainly the crit rate and crit damage here, okay? And then my 2P, she's also 90, um, using the maxed out X scale sword, very fast. So 10% uh, of, of course skill cooldown, but the fleet foot gives 20% and that's flat. It's not even a timed one. So it gives the same amount of agility as the Phoenix sword, even though this is only timed. That just shows how good the X weapons are really. Okay, so 15% attack there from the Phoenix sword. Obviously this is a two hand weapon, so she's not getting the bonus. She's losing stats from here, but she doesn't need it. Look, she's got 16k attack, 52% crit rate. It can be higher. The mems aren't the best. That's what I can work on. Uh, critical hit damage is pretty good. Now, yeah, this one needs to be changed out. Okay, either, either I get more copies of this and get to 90, or I get the Phoenix Dagger and I replace this eventually. Uh, the Light Book, because everyone uses Light Damage, of course. Agility main stat. Crit damage main stat and attack. Flat attack sucks, but god roll on the uh, subsets. Absolute god roll here. Doesn't get better than that. Okay, moving on to my last one, X scale. This is my first X unit and I only got her last night. I know I'm late to the party, guys. Uh, I thought I wouldn't get her because, you know, weapon issues, not enough swords, whatnot. But I've got her and she is an absolute beast. She's only got 12k attack only, I say. But, okay, she's got weapon skills maxed out, 15 seconds and 14 seconds. Great passives, Aegis, to survive a bit more. And she's quite tanky, so she actually does very well with Aegis. And agility up. And then, um, Xlar's weapon for 20% crit rate, skill cooldown, and 2, two piece mock type 40 sword with 30% light damage up, guys. 30%. That is massive. So her attack, her it's not showing up in her in her attack values, but she's getting far more than that. 10% crit. Okay, so if we do some calculations, so she's got 12188 times 1.3 from the light damage. So she's actually got almost 16k attack. That's what it actually is. Okay? It's just not showing because of this elemental boon doesn't show up um, in these stats here. Hope that makes sense. Her character skill is level 1, because I'm not using her for any PvE activities. I'm using the Light Bear, just because I need some damage on this sword. I need more damage for her, right? I need her to one-shot people, and one-shot she does. Cooldown reduction set with attack percent, uh, main stat, crit damage main stat, that's a very good one. And also attack. I'll show you this one again, I skipped over too quick. Look at that. My gosh. These are very good. So there's a couple of memoirs I can work on, um, especially on my on my agility set here. Crit rate is a bit low. This is good. And this is good as well. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much my new loadout and extremely happy with this build. I've, I've got the damage. I've got agility. Oh, actually, I wanted to talk about agility. So. X scale has 1100 agility, right? But she comes with plus 40% from her time to fleet foot. So she's actually got... 
she's actually got 1,500 agility. That's really high. She's not. She's completely using CDR sets, right? She's got 1,500 agility. And um, two P's at 1,600, but she's got the Phoenix Sword as well. So she's at 1,930. So two P pretty much goes first every fight. And then followed by Gale. Sometimes their team goes before Gale does, which is all good. She's very tank. I'm not worried about her dying. She's got 117k HP, guys, and almost uh, over 8.5k defense. She's very tank. And I've got all these um, all these books here that gives me extra elemental defense. And then once A2 weapon skills goes off, which is like instant, right? She's got 50% cooldown reduction. Uh, her weapon is literally maxed out, except for this one. And they go off so quick. And any of her weapons one shot anyone. Doesn't matter if it's the first one or the second. Doesn't matter if it's the first ability or second ability. She just one shots instantly. So she can wipe out two units straight away by herself. So obviously, if you're versing me, you're fighting my team. Um, you have some tips there to how to beat me. Just kill A2 first. Uh, but that's not to say that my X scale isn't just going to wipe your team with her weapon skills. Because she does insane damage as well. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I know I've spent a lot more time on this video, but this is sort of a roundup for PvP Arena Season 2. And I hope this was inspiring and I hope you enjoyed the summons. I, and I also hope you get some very good luck as well. If you do pull on those, remember, spend money at your own at your own pace, okay? Uh, or don't spend it all. And just go through to play. And that's completely fine. You don't need to have these things to, to do well. But I'm doing this because I support the game and I love the game. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your patience watching through the whole video if you got to this point. And uh, we got subjugation coming out next week. So there's a bunch of videos that I want to do. Um, I've also got a bit of a surprise coming out for the future of the channel. And I think the community is growing here with the discords growing as well. And I, I think I just need to start giving a bit more back to you guys. So look forward to some of the future content. Anyway, I will leave you be and enjoy the rest of your weekend.